Roma. That means, how are you in church? So, I am Abigail Mears and I wrote yes, and I'm going to tell you something about Chinese Filipino literature, its definition, and the two stories of Pastor by Carmen. I'm also talking about the brief summary of the Chinese Filipino history. Hi, I'm Angela Liron. Just call me Anche. Um, I'm going to tell you about the significance of Chinese Filipino literature. The generation of Chinese Filipino writers. I'm Rene Ginamo Jr. and I'm going to discuss about the issue concerning the Filipino Chinese literature. The theme of many Chinese Philippine writings, whether in English, Filipino or Chinese, Filipino writers. According to Dr. Susie Tan in her study, Chinese language literature in the Philippines describes three such generations of writers. The first generation is the generation of emigrants who came in the 30s and who were educated in China and influenced in May 4, 1919, a new literature movement in China. The second generation is the generation of Philippine-born Chinese who received bilingual education and who started writing in the 60s. And finally, the present or the third generation of writers is consisting mostly of, of the new immigrants from China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan who came during the 70s and 80s. The third generation of writers write mostly in English or a Filipino because these are the languages they are better equipped in. A majority choose English over Filipino since they are mostly educated in Catholic and Protestant school which traditionally stress the use of English. <laughs> 